Uh, did too. Yeah, because we're, we're going to see them walk out the stage, of course, here. And still, performance-wise, you know, these guys that have been making names for themselves. For Tools did a pretty good job, actually, back in the, the group stages where they were also pretty aggressive from the, the early game. So I think it, it boils down to the draft, too. Like, if you're going to give, like, Saksa here or Irad those types of heroes. Oh, she, so now we know exactly where things are falling into place, right? Of course, um, this provides them a lot of that sustainability still. The land of Don here, game number one. Down to the last eight teams, we're kicking off here. Are you Hoshi, Burmese Ghouls in this best of three. One of these teams will be sent out of the tournament here after the series. So we all start here once again, taking a look at the early rotations, emblems, nothing quite, you know, out of the ordinary here. Banana though, opting for a lot of that sustainability again with this CC. We'll see how this all works out. Burmese Ghouls. They have a, they got to play around the fact that they have, oh, hold on, already in the mid lane, though. Jump in, come through. Nico's going to be just fine. Gives them a thumbs up as well. So for now, back and forth. We're going to wait for that next, that first big objective, of course, the turtle. I'm not sure if either of these teams have what they able to reach level four much faster than the opponent which kind of really enables burmese ghouls to kind of take in these uh early turtles but so far it's rq irad actually starting up 140 hp already for the turtle yep they go in heavy spin already used turtle for the taking irad gonna be able to get it they get the stun off as well not sure if they still want to be going for it though they're gonna fight it out and they back off they disengage good thing too once again they have that nether realm of uh, nether realm available from nico yeah, that was a very good zoning as well for my successful. No first blood yet. Three minutes in already in the game. Yeah, which is interesting, right? Because we're talking about the uh, aggression from both of these teams. But mm -hmm. and that's a that's not going to find the uh, connection they're looking for. But hold on, still mm -hmm. pressure. Oh, what a huge! I'm offended into the heavy spin. Able to get the lockdown. Irad going to be the one to go down. First blood going to the hands of Burmese ghouls. What a set there from Blink, utilizing the flicker combination with the I'm offended. Still going to be up here on the top side, but they should be fine for now. What a play! Yeah, just when we were talking about no first blood, kind of called it there. Uh, nice tuck in there. Flicker was available for Blink, and he was able to do that. And now Banana in Ooh. trouble. Ooh, this is what I was talking about, though. One for one trade off onto the bottom side. And you see kind of like the aggression of Dilar, right? Going right into the turret to make sure that he gets the pick off. But again, kind of nullified since uh, it was like a one for one trade. Here in the middle side, though, Burmese Ghouls. Burmese Ghouls setting things up, but not him. Not anything too crazy happening. You see Blink, if he continues to do that every time the flicker is available to him, is really going to pay off, right, for his goals. That's kind of what they have to do. But Bruce going down on the other side, a well time and Noe Fury is going to help them out. And not only that, but they have the extra CC available to them with Irad's yeah. kit. Dragon Form going to come down, still be working for this turtle. Second one, Sox able to secure it. Gets a lockdown now on Irad. He's kind of stuck between the wall. He'll get taken out by Delar. And there's nothing RQ could do there. So objective and a kill for Burmese Ghouls. I like how Burmese Ghouls also kind of like knew that uh, I tried to go in for the, the Violet Requiem and the Spatial Migration, but you know, it kind of backfired here onto to RRQ. And now, so far, oh. uh, Burmese Ghouls, they've done a Brusco. good job of equalizing things out. Brusco, though. Goes in, yeah, jumps in. But look at that. Again, the sustainability is kind of uh, the, the way, of course, Netherrealm works. It buys you a little more time and they're going to be just fine. It, it might actually just uh, be a double-edged sword for your team. Yeah, and I think that's, uh, again, you have to respect the fact that even with everything happening now, you know, the past couple of minutes, it's pretty much even economy-wise, right, for the most part. And Skylar not going down, able to kind of just farm up here is is great for RQ. But even on the flip side, Burmese Ghoul is exactly. Both teams want to go full force here. The yeah. difference maker could be that gold lane, having that available, you can already see in the mid lane, yeah. whittling down slowly, but Stitch gonna go down bottom. Team's gonna be fighting it out four on four here for this third turtle. Taking it slow, turret goes down to the bottom side as both gold laners wait there. Turtle's gonna reset once again. Still looking for an angle here. Brusco there in the front lines. Mm -hmm. No one committing yeah, just yet. They're trying to feel this out. Yeah, they have to. There's some pressure though in the mid lane. They gotta deal with it for now. RQ still in position. Right now, Burmese Ghouls just kind of letting them take control of this space. 
Blink not going to commit. There's the Dragon Form finally going for the initiation. Huge Ooh, stuff nice there one. from Brusco, though, with the Flicker, Manu, and Fury. Now they're going to be battling now. Still looking for a kill to fall here, though, as both gold laners trying to make it away. Delar will finally fall. Stitch now joining the fight. Irad taking a couple shots. He's a, almost there, but another knockup yeah, comes through as Irad falls. It's a double for Stitch, though. But Skylar finally gets a kill as well. And now the mid lane turret goes down next. They find wins on both sides here, but RQ pulling out just a little bit ahead. Now Soxa buff can be worked on, and he's deleted Ooh. by Banana, gets whittled down quickly. And that is tough for them. Stitch now the answer here with Blink still. Banana gonna be able to get away from the I'm Offended. Wow, so much back and forth here, Kim. Yeah, we kind of expected this coming out. All out brawl from the side. Uh, Burmese school, big win though. There was a trade from RQ Hoshi on the middle lane, so that's uh, also pretty big for them to give that map control towards oh. their side right now. That is big, because RQ Hoshi just finally got this first Lord of the game, not the Lumen. Space that they garnered themselves. We'll be taking the resources as well on top of it. So Burmese School is once again finding themselves in a troubling position. This round could slip out of their hands very quickly, depending on how they deal with this push. It's going to come down once again if Blink can find a setup that he's going to be looking for on this Ruby pick once again. He's kind of the big answer for them. Delar also now at this point with Dragon Form has to be really careful on his positioning. Turret now in the mid lane, tier two going to fall on the focus top side, tier three. And you can already see Skylar very confidently just kind of poking down what he can. Shield's already taken care of as well in the mid lane. But right now, Burmese Ghoul is holding it together on the defense. For Burmese schools and RQ, what they both have in common right now is the timing of the ultimates. The Nether Realm here, the Blazing Duet, even for the side of RQ, the, the timing here of Brusco's uh, setup. He does have the flicker here. They want to go for the pressure here on the mid side. There's the tug no. in by Blink. Able to get the pole here, but he's still going to be able to get, stay alive through it all. Nether Realm comes down too. Dragon Form there to cut him off a little bit. Delar though takes quite a few shots. No one goes down in the exchange. Big item picks up as well. The Flask of the Oasis now for Brusco. Sustainability going to be there, and they're getting another turret as well. The oh, jump yeah. in from Irad finds the Requia. Now Banana also unleashing. Stitch able to get the kill, but it's Nico that falls. Two down for Burmese Ghouls and RQ. Looking to end game number one here. Working they on can... the crystal. Can Burmese Ghouls clear the waves? Keep it together. They find a little bit of room to work with. Blink's the one to fall, but Skylar has so much damage on this Bruno, and that looks like it's going to be it as RRQ takes game number one. Wow, just when we thought that it could have...